Hello everyone, this is Alex Pavalsic from HowToDoTech.com and I'm going to show you how to personalize your Windows 8 desktop mode. First thing you're going to want to do is put your mouse in the bottom right and bring up the charms bar and then go to settings. Once there, hit personalization. When you're in personalization, at the top you're going to have themes that you've already made or have downloaded on your computer. You're going to have Windows default themes right there and then high contrast themes at the bottom. If one of these themes isn't exactly the way you want it, you can edit all four of these aspects down at the bottom. First thing you're going to want to edit is your desktop background. You can pick a different area to get photos from and then once there you can either select all, clear all, select um, individual ones by check marks and then you can pick the way they fit on your screen. Whether you cut off the edges so that it fits over the entire screen. You can choose to show those black bars if you want the entire photo shown. You can stretch it and change the aspect ratio of the photo. This doesn't always look amazing. Tile is another one that doesn't always look as aesthetically pleasing, although it would repeat your photo over and over that way. If it was a very simple photo, you would see it multiple times, or you could center it on your screen. That way, nothing is stretched or cut off, and then you have the black bars. Um, you can also change when these photos switch with right here. You can go anywhere from 10 seconds to one day. Um, chances are you'll want to go with something higher than 10 seconds. But that's how you do that right there. Next up, you're going to have your Windows color. And here, this is basically the same as Windows 7. You're going to have your different colors, and you can choose the intensity. Something new added to Windows 8 is automatic. And what this is going to do is it's going to take a picture like I have right now, and it sees it has a lot of black and this bluish space. And it would pick either black or blue, and it would choose an intensity of it that would kind of match my desktop background. And every time the background changed, the window color would change so that it would match the background. It's really nice and I like the way it's been implemented. Finally, you have sound. This is exactly the same as Windows 7. You can choose each individual option to put a sound to and then right now all I have is the Windows default sound. Finally, you have your screensaver. Windows 8 comes with an okay amount of screensavers at your disposal, although you can install third-party ones. Um, you can preview it by just hitting right there and then you can also choose um, how long you want to wait before the screensaver pops up. Right now I have 15, 5 minutes, but you can go much higher than that. And then you can also choose whether it's going to display back at your login screen or where you left off. Finally, if you want to download an entire theme that might not involve pictures that you own or a screensaver that you own or just something that's really, really cool, you can go to Get More Themes Online. That will bring you to the personalization gallery on Windows.com. Once here, you can choose Windows themes and desktop backgrounds. If you want entire themes that would involve Windows colors, screensavers, and wallpapers, you can look right here. We have tons of different categories on the left, and then all these themes available to you would show right in this middle section. Um, you can click details and learn more about the theme and which types of computers that's com um, compatible with. Some might only be compatible with Windows 8 Pro and not RT. Some might not be compatible with Windows 7 machines if you want to implement this on multiple operating systems. So you might want to hit the details for that, or you can just download it right there. Also in desktop backgrounds, this is just going to allow you to download HD pictures that you could use as a wallpaper for your computer. It's really, really simple, and it's very nice. Once you download them, all you have to do is double click on the file, and it'll show up right here under My Themes, and you can edit all these small options to make it exactly the way you want it. This is how to personalize your desktop mode in Windows 8. We hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, you can take a look at the written steps down below for a little bit more details on it. Or you could email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. Be sure to check back at howtodotech.com for more tutorials like this one. I am Alex Bavalsik, and I will see you next time.